Alright, so you're probably wondering how can I mod Stardew Valley, so I'm going to show you really quick how to, well, do it in a quite an easy way. So, first of all, you're going to want to create a backup saves folder for your saves, if you have them. Now, that is really easy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new folder here, and just call it whatever you want. <laughs> I already have one up here, so I'm just kind of redoing it. Um, For a Windows computer, I don't know about Macs or Linux, I'm not... I'm not too sure, um, but uh, uh, either way, most people are on Windows, so uh, it's not really too much of an issue. So here, we're going to want to put percent app data percent, and then when we enter that, we're going to get a big fold here with all our data for our apps, like our games. Uh, you're going to want to scroll down until you found Stardew Valley, so really easy, and then the saves are right here. So you've got your saves, and these are all your well, all your saves. Um, so, open up your... Where is it? <laughs> I sort of kept this open. Um, open up this, and drag, well, copy your saves into this folder. It doesn't matter where this folder is, it, uh, as long as it's somewhere different, then it's perfectly fine. So, close that, there you go, you backed up your saves. So, all in there. So, if anything goes wrong, which is very unlikely, you'll be able to, you know, put your saves back, and it'll all be fine. <laughs> so, next, you're going to want to create a new folder. Now, you do not have to do this if you don't want. I'm going to. I've already got a mod folder, so I'm just going to do something random again. Um, so, put that there. This way, you're going to save your mods. Now, most people just drop them onto the desktop. Which is perfectly fine, it works the exact same, but it is a little bit messy, I think. So, uh, this is a mods folder. As I said, I've got a proper one here with all my mods in. Uh, but yeah, you guys don't have to do this. Alright, so in the description, there's going to be a link to this page here. You don't have to use the link, you can just find it yourself on Nexus Mods. God Smappy, now you're going to need this. This is like, uh, I think you need it for every mod. And maybe I'm wrong. But drab it, it's going to be really easy to install. I remember about a year or two ago, one of the only ways to get it was to get it off like a, a GitHub page. And it was a little bit, um, well it wasn't difficult, but it was a little bit, there was a few more steps to get it installed. You had to do a lot of like dragging and dropping of files, but right now it's on Nexus, and so you don't even have to ma mess with that right now. So, I'm going to go to files, and download the latest version version uh developers i don't really understand that one but manual download so it's going to be a two megabyte download so it's really slow so you might as well just do the slow download i think you do need an account so keep that in mind i don't i'm not too sure i have one so i don't really have to mess around with that but maybe you need an account it's completely free to get so you don't have to worry about it so i am going to minimize that and Go to my downloads folder, and to my mod is, well, my Smappy, which is like the, well, it means Stardew Valley modding API, so it's basically like a, um, a mod manager, it kind of enables you to use mods, basically. So this is my mods folder, I should have named it something better and then it would be easier to see. Uh, this is my mods folder, I'm just going to drag it in here, or you can drag it on your desktop, it doesn't matter. So, mods folder is right here, so to actually use this, uh, you're going to want to unzip it. Now, you can use 7-zip, or you can use the built-in Windows extractor. I have, like, everything. I have, like, 7-zip and WinRAR, but I'm just going to extract files and press OK. Alright, so we got a file now. The file is extracted. Uh, we've got loads of folders and files and stuff. Now, the way to do this is actually a lot simple. You don't have to drag anything into anything. So, open up some appy here, this folder, if it'll work. <laughs> go to the installer, and then go down to whatever you're running on. So, if you're on your Linux, do Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm doing Windows, so install on Windows. Right, you can have this box that opens right here. So, uh, what do you want to do? Install Smappy or uninstall Smappy. So if you want to uninstall it, that's how you can do it as well. So I'm going to press 1. 
and then enter because I want to install it. Right, there you go. Smappy is installed. See, it's instant. Now, one thing that I want you guys to keep a note of it says here Smappy is installed. If you use Steam, set your launch options to enable achievements. See, Smappy install. This is where your Smappy is saved. So basically, to your Stardew directory on Steam. If you don't use Steam, uh, launch the Stardew Valley Modding API EXE in your game folder to play with mods. I'm going to show you both of these in a sec. So keep a mental note of this. Uh, you're going to want the quotation marks or the speech marks, whatever you call them, <laughs> in this and the command percent. Now, I don't think you can copy, which is really annoying, so what I like to do is just take a screenshot so you can see this exact bar here. And so if you've got a screenshot of that, yours will be different to mine, by the way. Um, well, unless you've got it in the same drive. I have mine in my hard drive, so it's a D drive that is under Steam, Common, uh, Sadio Valley. So basically this is my directory. Yours might be a C, if it's on your C drive, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But when that is done, just press X and close it. Alright, so open up your Steam, and you don't want to go to the, well, Stardew Valley, obviously. Uh, right click on that, we're just going to be checking, see if everything is fine and everything is installed. So uh, right click, go to properties, uh, go to local files and then browse local files. Now you're going to see all this, uh, yours should be the same or very similar. So um, what, what we're going to see, we're going to see the Stardew Valley modding API. I've already created a shortcut. Um, basically when you want to play with mods, um, you're going to have to open this one. It, this is the normal Stardew Valley. This is the Stardew Valley that has mods enabled. So when you want to play the game, click on this here. I've already created a shortcut and got it on the desktop right here. So I don't have to worry about that. If I want to play it with mods, I just have to go click on this icon here. But there's going to be a much better way. So if you guys remember that little quotation mark thingy, uh, that I told you to screenshot or whatever. You're going to want to go to your Steam here again. I think it's actually on this thing I've opened. Yeah. General. Go to your search, set launch options. Now we're going to want to paste that in here. Now you can't really paste it. So you're going to have to type it. So with the quotation marks. Exactly how it was on that bar. You're going to want to paste it completely in. So the, what this does. First of all, this enables uh, the Stardew Valley modding API to be launched when you click the play button right here, instead of actually having to click on the icon. So, the click and play will open Stardew Valley modded, basically. And uh, doing this will enable Steam and achievements. So, most people don't care about this. I'm not too bothered. But achievements are uh, like fishmen. <laughs> Yeah, this is basically going to allow you to get achievements in your game. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to keep my mod folder here. And my downloads folder here. So we're going to be installing some mods now. So we're on the Nexus Mods page now for Stardew Valley. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to this page. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually install a mod. So... Let's just click popular all time, and I'm going to try to find one that I do not have. So, I'll be back in a second when I find one that's worth it. Alright, so I've actually got this tractor mod here, which is actually a file I forgot to install before, so I might as well get it now. Uh, so, we're going to click manual download again. Uh, this is basically telling us that we need the smappy that we just installed. So, that is perfectly fine. We can just continue with that. Go to the download page, uh, it's very small download, so slow download, there you go, and it is done. And like before, we're going to drag this into here, and then close this, and then we're going to extract this again, so extract files, okay, there you go, we got it here. So what we're going to do now to actually install this mod, we're going to go back to Steam, uh, go to properties by right clicking on Stardew Valley, uh, local files, browse local files, and you should have a folder here that says mods. Now, if you don't have a folder that says mods, but you still have like all of this stuff, uh, just create a folder, call it mods with a capital M. 
just just in case I've seen it before where I didn't have a folder have a folder so I had to create one. So this is my mods folder right here. We're gonna minimize this really quick and get rid of this. So this is my mods folder in the directory. We're gonna open this. Now do not drag in the file that do not drag in this file because it can access this file and then just see this and think, oh what the hell is that? So it's not gonna do anything. So open this file if it'll open if I'm not retarded and you'll see all of this stuff now if it's got all of this stuff that's the file you want so go back drag in this file so drag it in there you go it's installed well it should be anyway so now to actually test this out we're gonna be pressing play right here and just checking if our mod is actually working now when the game loads you should be getting like a load of, well it's going to tell you what mod, oh god, sorry, <laughs> it's going to tell you what mods are installed, so if you can see here, we didn't really get to see for very long, but, um, you know, we got to see all the mods come through, so, it'll tell you which ones were not loaded, and which ones are loaded, so we're going to get to load really quick, and just check our mod. Oh, so to check our mod, which the tractor mod, we're just going to have a look really quick if it's actually available for us to build. Now if we go over to here, yeah, oh I skipped it, uh, right here, a tractor garage. So yeah, we've got the mod, it's working perfectly fine, but is it? Alright, so let's say you mod uh, the game. Now um, I hope this was helpful and it was understandable to watch or listen to. Anyway though, uh, thank you for watching there. I'll see you all in the next dad you get I decide to make or whatever I make. Bye bye.